here with Dream Guitars, and I have an exquisitely unique instrument in my hands today. Um, this is Ace Moment. Um, if you're into classical guitars at all, if you're into Australian style classical guitars, then of course you know Greg's Moment. Um, so this is, you know, the real deal. This is an actual Moment, and it's a delight to have it in the shop. So there's a bunch of things going on under the hood um, that make this a small guitar, that make this a unique classical. But uh, the long and short of it is, it is designed in order to support an incredibly thin top to be as resonant as possible, to be as loud as possible. And this thing really is an insanely loud guitar. Um, it's like, you can hear it before you play it. It's, it's that kind of level of projection. It's, it's pretty intense. And that's with a cedar top too, so keep that in mind. Um, the back and sides are Brazilian rosewood, which just really beautiful stuff, especially the back when we get to that. It's got a very full neck profile. Um, it's more of a rounded shape than a flattened U, uh, which I am a fan of. And yeah, this one comes to us from 1999. So at time of recording, it's about 24 years old and it's opened up a lot in that time. Uh, it's been played in a fair bit. Uh, it's got a couple marks to prove that it's been used in that time, which I'm always happy to see. And yeah, it really is, it's an experience to play this guitar. Like uh, when you when you strike a chord, and if you put your hand just gently on the top, you can just feel the the top just like just just pulsing, which is really <laughs> quite an experience. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it a little bit. Getting on top here. So cedar for the top again, very thin cedar top, rosewood bridge um, with a six hole tie block, right? Yep. And then the uh, the bindings are extra beveled, extra rounded over and smooth, which just feels great. You know, I wish more people did that, so I'm glad to see it here. Now the sides, you get to see some of that rich red hue from Brazilian Rosewood, but then it's the back that really sets that off. So what a fantastic set of brass! My gosh, that's so good. I love this, man. Uh, we have some really cool feathering figuring here in the center, um, some nice straight grain elements too. It's just really a great set. And as I pivot the guitar back and forth, um, and hopefully you can tell that the back is actually arched. So there's a doming to the back, which adds depth to the body. Well, adds, adds depth and to the air cavity without making it a super deep guitar. So you got more air to move around and um, add to projection and the complexity of the voice. But this enables you to do that without it being like a six inch deep guitar. So one of those features for you. Now, as we come up the neck, you'll notice that it is, like I said, pretty full in hand, um, and the profile is, it approaches more of sort of like a, of a, of a steel string D shape than like you would find like a U shape classical. Um, so that's pretty cool. And it feels very solid in hand, and, and it, it's, it's good for me for like left hand orienteering. That fuller neck profile just feels really comfortable and secure. So I'm like, I know exactly where I am, which, you know, who doesn't want that? So yeah, anyhow. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's really a fantastic guitar. This 1999 Greg Smallman Classical. Uh, if you want to learn more about this particular instrument, give us a shout. We'd love to chat. Cheers.